Hi, everyone. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. Today, we're talking about something very important, location services and your privacy. I'll show you how to control which apps on your iPhone can access your location and why you might want to do that. Whether you're using an iPhone for the first time or you've had one for years, this is a really useful topic to cover, so let's get started. Your iPhone has a feature called Location Services. This lets apps know where you are so that your map app can give you directions, your weather app knows what to show you, and your health or fitness apps can track where you walk. But here's the thing. If apps you don't need are using your location, it can feel intrusive. It could also affect battery life because your iPhone is doing more tracking behind the scenes. So the question is, how much location access should you give? How much should you hold back? I'll walk you through that next. If you want to stop all apps from knowing your location, maybe because you're very privacy-minded or you don't use apps that need location services, you can turn location services off. Here's how. The first thing we're going to do is locate and open the settings app. So here's what the settings app looks like. You can search for it if you need to. Open the settings app. We're going to scroll down and we're going to locate privacy and security. Now, if you're on an older uh, iOS, it may just say privacy, depending on what version you're on. We're going to tap privacy and security, and then we're going to tap on location services. And here I can toggle off location services. It's going to ask me to confirm that you would tap turn off and now all location services would be turned off. So no app on your iPhone will be able to use your location. So if you turn location services off, apps like Maps, Find Mine, or Weather might stop working as expected. That's why for many of us, we can use a more careful approach. Let me show you. Rather than turning off location entirely, a smarter approach for many seniors and anyone using an iPhone is to customize location access on a per app basis. This lets your important apps use location when they need it and stops others that don't need your location. So again, we're going to open the settings app. You're going to go to privacy or privacy and security and location services. I'm already in there. So you want to be sure that location services is turned on if you want some apps to use it. Then you would scroll through the list of apps under the location services heading. You'll see each app and beside one, you'll see something like Never, ask next time, while using, or always. So let's go ahead and locate the Maps app. And you'll see that on the Maps app, I have while using the app checked off. I also have precise location. So this helps if you're always relying on navigation. And if you want accurate positioning, you'll turn on precise location. For another app, I'm going to tap on the back arrow. And this time, let's locate, I don't see a news app, but I'm just going to open the health app. And so when I open the health app, I have while using the app and I have precise location on so that it tracks me, you know, when I'm walking. I'm going to tap back again. And this time I'm going to go into my bank app. Notice I say never on this. 
I don't need my bank to track my location. So location is off and you don't see precise location. So only if I want to, I can come back in and turn that on. But I just don't feel that my bank needs to know my location. So by taking these steps, you give the right apps access to location when needed and protect your privacy and phone battery from other apps that don't. For many seniors, that means a safe, efficient iPhone experience. There are a few more things you should know about. If you share my location, which you can see here, this would be if you had family sharing available to you and maybe you want a loved one to be able to find you via the Find My app. So again, we come back in to the location services area and it says share my location. If I tap on that, I can turn Find My iPhone on or off. This should always be on in case you lose your device. And so you want to keep that on there. But this, this option, Share My Location, you can toggle that switch off if you don't want to share your location with anyone. So as you can see, I have family members that are sharing uh, my location, but most of them cannot see where my location is. I've turned it off. So I can tap on that and come into here. And if I want to, I can tap on share my location. And then that individual will be able to see where I am. If you notice your battery draining quickly or you see an arrow in the status bar, meaning location is being used, check which apps are using location and whether they really need it or not. Now let's talk about precise location. I'm going to back out of here. Precise location, you can do that on a per app basis. So that means the app can see only your approximate area. So if I come into the map app, and I turn off precise location, now it can't see the exact spot I'm in. And so that's useful for privacy concerns. But when you're using the maps option, you really do want a precise location. So I can go ahead and toggle that switch back on. You want to revisit your settings periodically. Apps update. You install new apps and you may change how you use your iPhone. Every few months, it's wise to check your location settings again and make sure only the apps you trust and use have location access. So why go through all this? Because controlling your location access gives you more privacy, fewer apps tracking your every move, better battery life, fewer apps using GPS when they don't need to, and peace of mind. You know exactly which apps can see where you are. And as someone who values simplicity and control on your Apple devices, especially for seniors, these steps help you feel confident, safe, and in command of your iPhone. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips. Remember, your iPhone is powerful and with just a few setting tweaks, you can make it work for you in a way that's safe, efficient, and just plain easy. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.